Hey guys, it's the sequel! Hello viewers of my videos, it's Agent and Joey and although there isn't a lot of viewers here, I'm pretty sure that I got the best viewers. Yes. So this is a, another redstone puzzle that I will be embarking. This is Seth Blaine's Redstone Challenge number two. Um i post I will post a link uh to my walkthrough slash playthrough of Seth Blaine's first redstone challenge in the description below as well as the map download for Seth Blaine, um for this for this map. Uh, just like the first map, there will be no mob slaying. Just like the first map, there will be no building of great eye appealing monuments. Just like the first map, there will be no mining for ores in the dangerous parts of the unknown Minecraft caves. No, none of that. Today, we triumph and stand victorious with just our redstone brain power. Just like the first map. We're going to read the signs. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is Seth Blaine's Redstone Challenge number two. This map is designed from one uh, Minecraft 1.5.1. Um, if you look in the top left corner, we are indeed on Minecraft 1.5.1. Uh, thanks to Denabone, FB Disco, and BTC Blame the Controller for testing. This map is designed for single player. If you play with multiple players, solve the puzzles as if you only have one. Uh, rule number one, you may only break or place or break things, getting ahead of myself, place or break things that are given to you in the level's chest. You may not use hymn books for any purpose besides reading them. The cake is only there to feed you. <laughs> um, feel free to look on the Minecraft wiki uh, for help understanding the game's mechanics. And rule 5, have fun and learn about Minecraft. If you can't solve a puzzle, don't feel bad reading hints. Alright, so this is a, um, a redstone challenge map Seth Blaine has put together once more. And I am assuming it's going to utilize a lot of the new 1.5 updates redstone mechanics since that was also referred to as the redstone update. I've actually got the chance to experiment with a good majority of the new redstone items since the update release. So, I'm going into this with a fair amount of confidence. You know, kind of nervous. Probably time my voice just cracked a couple of seconds ago. Um, in his video, Seth Blaine has also mentioned that there would uh, there be fewer rooms or fewer challengers than his first one, but uh, just. Judging by the comments in that video, a lot of people are having some difficulty. So I'm confident right now, but let's see how confident I am when I progress through the later challenges. So, um, let me bring up, okay, gotta make sure Fab is recording. Um, just like the first one, the, the last Redstone challenge, um, I will try and avoid looking into the written book for hints or solutions to the puzzle. Uh, we are going to be on the peaceful difficulty, but I will mention that I have two mods installed that hopefully won't impact the map in any way. The first being the Hardcore Plus mod that really does nothing on the map since mobs won't be spawning anyways. Um, the second one is Optifying by SP614X. Uh, mostly for performance enhancements and the awesome smooth glass texture product right here. Alright. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I wrote notes on a little no notepad what I want to bring up. I think it did pretty good. I mean, I've rehearsed this intro like a million times in my head, but this is the first time I'm doing it. Glad it turned out to be alright. Um, so. Without further ado, let's solve level zero. And I'm going to assume that it's going to be just like the last one. So if I put this lever anywhere near it, there we go. 
Oh, let's cut the secondary door. Um, level one. Level one. This looks like the uh, previous redstone map. So I think this is the room that's basically going to teach you this door is placed in an awkward way. So you can't, you know, do this. It won't work. This is actually an open door, believe it or not. It was placed like this in the corner. And there's a redstone torch underneath the door powering it. So I'm going to depower it. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> not much, not much more to explain. Uh, this is level two with three levers. Oh, we got comparators. I apologize if I'm very talkative. Um, I think out loud. So, if you guys want to try this map for yourself, please avoid watching my my video since it's mostly me explaining explain the solution um, hopefully we won't have too much trouble with it like I read in the comments of Sethling's video and my voice just cracked in the beginning of that sentence so nervous <laughs> anyways um, here is this, it, lo it looks like this is the main line that we need to power but uh, it's not gonna do anything yeah but we c we'll keep that there uh, this compare rate is being is comparing uh, input B on this side and input A on this side. Um, since input B both has a power of 15, um, this compare this comparator won't give out a signal at all. So we we gotta turn those off. This one seems a bit easy. So there we go. And we need to get rid of that repeater. Uh, that's not what we want to do. Um, Okay, so we have a redstone block that's giving the power of 14, uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10? Does, does this count? I'm going to count it. 10. So, I don't think it counts though. Whatever, it's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Oh, we can just do this since this is automatically a stronger signal than what the block is giving us. Yep. It's all. Yep. Everything's pretty much good. Oh. This is level three. Six uh, levers. I tend to alternate between the pronunciation of levers and levers, but it's all the same thing, you know? This thing. So we have hoppers. Okay, so we have three comparator, or one comparator in each hopper that's going to invert the signal when it produces a signal. And okay, so we, I'm pretty sure you can just put an item inside the hopper and it'll give out a, a, an output. The only downside is the hopper will just, yeah, see the hopper will transfer the items into here. Just as a demonstration, I'll do that. See, it'll, it'll power it, but it'll move the move. It'll move the lever. So one way to avoid this is to power oh, power the lever. So oh, that's right. You can't toss it in anymore. You got to put it in. There we go. Yeah, you have to uh, manually put it in. But yeah, that's how you solve that one. Um, all command blocks, fun. Level four. Really is no way to put these buttons, so. Um, oh, wait. Ah, I knew it. I was kind of hoping it won't, um, use these daylight sensors. But it doesn't look like anything too bad. Okay. So we want these... So we want the torch gone, but not the repeat. So we want the torch off and the repeater off, which means we need to power this uh, repeater. Okay, we need to power the repeater, then lock it, then turn off the signal behind it. Okay, gotcha. Um, well, first we need to be 
So to output a signal, this command block needs to output a signal. We need to lock the, this repeater, and then we need this command block to perform its action again, but it won't output a signal. Actually, what, what does these do? Did I ever read them? Time set 1000, so daytime. Time set 14000, nighttime. Uh, give player 293. 293 is a diamond hoe, right? And then clear player 293, 2. The 2 is a damage value. Okay. Okay. Well, first, let's start slow. First, we make it nighttime. Okay. And we need. Oh! I see what to do. It gives us a diamond hoe. And this won't clear our inventory because we technically don't have a diamond hoe with a damage value of two. And this is that's why the dirt block is here, so we could you know damage ourselves. So that only has one, two. And if you go and I have the little durability cheaty thing, but um, you can, you can see that I've lost two durability. Um, let's power it. So it was able to take away my uh, diamond hoe that had damage value of two. So it'll put out a signal. Uh, we change it to daytime now. So that repeat is locked. And we'll clear my diamond hoe again, which it really can't do. So it'll stop producing that signal. And we're done. Yep, because those two are off. Awesome. This is level five two levers oh dear <laughs> uh, oh all these comparators are on subtraction mode because of the uh, let me do it with Optifine because the uh, the torch right there the third torch is lit okay, wh what do we have to do uh, we we're supposed to turn off these two torches okay so these two redstone blocks, we're going to say redstone power 15. What do you call those? Like, are they redstone powers or are they like something that travels a certain amount of blocks? Like signal strength? I have no idea what to call it, but I kind of know how it works. Anyways, this thing has, okay, so it's already giving me a signal of strength of one. We need to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 to reach that iron block. So 15 minus 11 is 4. We need this input B to have a redstone power of 4. Now it's already producing a signal of 15. So we need its side current to be a power of 11 right it's 11 minus a uh, 15 minus 11 is 4 I'm going to try that so 15 14 13 12 11 oh but this that, it turns off this one maybe I was one off there we go now we just need this one. Sorry, I like everything by three key. Um, same concept, but not as complicated. So this is giving me a redstone signal strength of a one. We need it to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of to the repeater. Now, fifteen minus seven. 8 15 minus 8 is 7 so we need this to be 7 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was one off again no nope, other way no I was it was I in this entirely wrong
try, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, seven. I know that's seven. I didn't count wrong. Maybe this strength is nine. Oh, no, nine. Six. I'm, I'm just calling out random numbers now. Maybe the strength is really 16. So, 16 minus 7 is 9. Sixteen. We need this to be nine, right? So we need this to be a seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm wrong again. I think this needs to be further down. Yeah, it was nine. I'm getting it, but I'm not mathematically calculating it right. But uh, what can you do? <laughs> but it's it's just mostly subtraction, something like that. Okay. Uh, this is number six. You gotta compare it now. Hmm. Right. What is this? That's a dropper. That looks like a. Oh wait! Whoa! Wait! This ain't good. A, the dropper is going to drop items into that hopper. The hopper is going to deposit items into the dropper. If that makes any sense. <laughs> so, just out of curiosity, let's put in half a stack. I know I'm not gonna need it, but wait. Let, let's do this right. I know it takes I think 23 or 24 items to give a signal 2. So that would mean a 44 to 45 somewhere along that range would give me a signal 3 which is what we want so let's just try 45. Okay. Oh I thought I said dispenser at one point. <laughs> um. That's not it, cause it dropper. Okay, so if I'm right, let's make it. Let's make it experimental prediction. The dropper, what I just did, just dropped an item into the hopper. But since this hopper is not powered, it's going to put it back in the dropper. So theoretically, just judging by the design of it all, that 45 stack I just put in would now be 44 and there would be a stack of 1 in the corner there you go so there, there's got to be a way for us to make it so this dropper drops items quicker than the hopper and there's only one way to do that and that's to make a uh, mono like, like a really fast pulsar oh, that's not how to do it subtraction mode Oh no no. Um, this signal has to be 15 from the start, so. There we go. There we go. It's dropping items quicker than Harpo can give it to us. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, it's gonna get annoying. <laughs> oh, you can't really hear it. Okay, that's good. Level 7, we get 8 diamonds? Oh, okay. Uh, we have 9 hoppers. It looks like, it looks like the corner pieces the corner hoppers are just going to power two comparators. If I, okay, so I I see how this is. We're gonna drop diamonds into this hopper. Let's lock all of them for. 
Uh, I kind of already see the solution. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, it goes counterclockwise. So if I were to just to do this, unlock them all, it would just spin in a counterclockwise pattern. This one being the last one since the first one's right here. What we want to do is put in one diamond at a time and lock each individual hopper clockwise in the opposite direction. And um, this will disable the whole redstone. Yeah, I think this is just for show. I mean, I mean, I guess if you really want to, you could take the extra effort to time your rotations carefully, but the reason really isn't really need. So we're gonna go ahead and lock it. Drop a diamond in. It's going to rotate through the hopper and stop there. All right, so lock that. Drop. And yeah, we have to wait until the diamond stops before we hit on the next one. Okay, lock this one. Lock and lock. Done. Fairly simple, huh? Oh, level eight. Okay, it's not that easy. This is a width of 11. That's a width of 11 and we only have 9. So if I were to just try and attempt this, we're going to be too short. One there and one here. Too short. Okay. I had to make sure. Um, this is going to give us a signal. Yeah. So we want to carry the signal from this point to that point some way over another. Hold on a second. Just gotta get a drink. <laughs> All this talking is making my mouth dry. I'm sorry. Um, we could have like a little lock repeater going. Oh, but I don't have another repeater to carry on the signal. We could make this thing feed back into itself, you know. And try to carry the signal there. Oh, no, you can't do that. Okay. Um. Oh, I got it. There we go. And I'll delay these just to give me a little cushion room. We'll break this and place the dust there really quickly, which means these two won't matter anymore. So we place them here. And we're going to break this dust and place the repeater very quickly. And look at that. We just moved it by one. And I guess we just have to continue the sequence until we hit the very end so oh so that place break to there then important that I have the delay otherwise uh, I might not give myself enough time to break and quickly you know place the back the repeater or the stone dust right. oh I had it oh but it needs to be a constant power there we go that's it that's it we're done. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, we are on level nine with eleven redstone dust. 
Um, okay. Okay, so we our only interactive thing was is this thing. Oh, it gives us a one tick pulse. I know I've been calling it a one tick pulse, but I think Seth Blaine called it a mono stable circuit. And I think everyone calls it a mono stable circuit. I'm like the only one who calls it a one tick pulse thing. So I might as well get into the correct terminology and call it one tick pulse as well. Um, just judging by that, we are going to be doing something like this. And yeah, we have one left, so we can interact with these three goal blocks somehow. Um, this the. Uh, let me try to understand what is going on here. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. It looks like to me that this is just one big subtraction mechanism. Um. This. This is just going to power the whole thing. I I know that for a fact. Oh wait, we got something else. Um, for this little contraption, we need to invert that signal. So we need to power this repeater, but not this repeater. So no, yes. Okay. I just know that this is going to power the whole thing. So to start. The whole thing's powered, and we don't want that. And I mentioned before that this is a huge subtraction mechanism. I just don't know how much. Um, God, what? What try this one? So we we just lost three signal. So this one subtract our signal by three. Pretty cool. Yep, we got we gotta get down there. So let's see about this one. All right, now we just lost five, which means that one took away two. So we just can just take away two again. Yep, that's it. Look at that, we solved it while trying to figure it out. Um, well yeah, that's that's how you solve it, I guess. Um, oh. Puzzle number 10, or I guess they're called levels. <laughs> um, we got a lever. Okay. Oh, that's an what? This is an AND gate, but it requires me to step on this thing and nothing. I mean, there's only so much delay you can give me. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. Um, what do you guys do? Ah, we gotta make a potion. Um. So okay, this is gonna be a speed potion, which will give us, yes, gonna be a speed two potion. It's gonna give us enough speed to just dash here to here, here to there. Is that quick enough? Well, we'll we'll find out. So the water bottles go. Here. It doesn't work. Because I need to power the brewing stand. So if I drop it. Okay, yep, there it is. The water ball is in. And now this thing's for the ingredients. We gotta put put it in in order. So uh wart, sugar, glowstone. 
I think it takes 20 seconds to boot each item, so uh, we'll have to wait. We can watch the hopper see when it takes in the glowstone dust. Just, uh, nope, oh, there goes the sugar. And then glowstone dust. There it goes. And now we wait 20 seconds. So I'm probably going to overcount it. It's better to do that than take out the potion too early. So uh, take another sip of my drink. Got a text message. Oh, I'll respond in the morning. Um, okay. Speed two. We got it. Okay. Got it. All right. That was that was a really fun one actually. <laughs>